Welcome to this tutorial for Cambridge IGCSE examinations in ICT. Today we are going to be using for this tutorial Paper 2 of the May-June 2009 examination series. I would like to show you how to use the group by options or functions within a database query. The group by function is used to summarize data within the query. And it is something that Cambridge examinations haven't asked since 2009. However, it might be useful for you to know how to actually construct it, just in case it comes up in an examination. This is the May-June 2009 examination paper. And today we're going to be looking at question 46. So it says produce a new report which shows the summary of week 37 sales only, uses only the staff and income fields, and calculates the sum of the income field and then counts the number of holidays. When it uses words like summary or calculate the sum or count the number, then you automatically should realize that it, you're going to be using the group by functions. Once we've actually been able to create the query then we have to export the data into a graph charting package and we've also got to export it into a word document this is the database that we're going to be using to complete question 46 something that I need to mention or didn't mention previously is that question 46 is based on question 42. So in question 42 we were to create a query that searched for all the week 37s and only displayed the week 37s. It also had to have a calculated field called income. If you're not sure how to do that then you need to look back on previous tutorials. Okay so to start question 46 we need to go create query wizard simple query wizard is fine and as we said earlier it needs to be based on the query for question 42 so 99% of the time you might use a table but when you're going to do a group by function you need to use or you will have to base it on something else and in this case it's going to be this query so the first thing we have to do is uses only the staff and income field so they need to go in staff and income and then we need to check to see if there's anything else that we might need to put in so if we read the question it says calculates the sum of the income field for each of the staff so we can do that because we've got income and staff then it says counts the number of holidays well, we've got no count of holidays in there, so we need to find some way of putting that data in, and it would be in the, the number field, so that would indicate the number of holidays that each staff member has sold. So click on, or just add that in, and then we need to click on Next. Now, as said in earlier tutorials, 99% of the time we only ever use the detail, but if you like, because you're going to do a summary or a group five function, you can actually use the summary option. So if I click on summary options, then it gives me a range of different things that I can do. Now the only problem that is associated with this is that you must, if we go back, put in the exact number of fields that you require. If you put in too many, then the summary function won't actually work. I'm going to click next, leave it with detail, um, name my query question 46 and click finish. Okay so we've got all the data in and basically what we're trying to do here is we're trying to count up all of the ARs 
count up all of the GPs and group all those together. So for instance, you can see three GPs. We want just to show one GP and then these, both the number and the income, to show the sums and the counts or group, group it in such a way to give us an answer. So if I go into the design view, and we need to put the group by function in here. So if we click on the totals column, you can see that we've got the group by function in. And in the income, we had to count. And in the number, I'm actually wrong there, in the income we had to sum. And again, we can go and check to see if that's worked. So click on the run button. And you see it has sort of summed it a bit, but you've got one, two, three, four, five ARs, and really we only want to show one AR. And the reason that it's not showing one AR is because these numbers are different. So if they were all twos, it probably would just show one AR. So let's go back to design, and we want to count the number and try and run it again. And you can see now that it has actually grouped all of the ARs, grouped all of the different staff names, give a sum of their income and a count of the number of holidays that they've sold. And that is question 46 complete. Question 47 and 48 are about exporting the data. In question 47, we're asked to export this data in a format which can be opened by a graph or charting package. That's quite simple to do. So with our query open, we select external data. And you see here our import options. And we want to go to the export options. And click on Excel. Now we need to be careful here. Because this data is grouped, we need to say export data with the formatting layout. If we leave the tick out of that, then that data will come in as all ungrouped data whenever we bring it into the spreadsheet. The only other important thing we need to do is make sure that we select somewhere that we can find it again. So I'm going to put it on the desktop so I can easily find it. And save. Click OK, and I don't need to save the next steps. We're going to look at question 47 in relation to question 49 in a few minutes. And now we're going to do question 48. So question 48 was, import this data into a document as a table immediately after the paragraph which ends. And it's given us an idea of where it should go. Now, again, you could select export and go to Word. But the easiest option for what you want to do is to highlight it, right click and copy it. And then when we have a Word document and if I right click and paste it automatically puts the data in that we want. Okay, that did have to be in a specific area. I haven't actually completed the Word document for that. But if I bring up the answers, you can see that they look very, very similar. So this is the examiner answers. Question 49 said, you now need to open the data exported in step 47 in an appropriate charting package. So we previously exported this into Excel. Now I need to bring up an Excel document and open up that query 46. So if I go File, Open, and I'm in my desktop and select it, there's the data that we require. So it says create a pie chart showing the number count of holidays by each member of staff. So to simply do that, if I highlight this column and then hold in the control key down, highlight the count of number column, 
then go to insert a pie chart select our pie chart now what I normally like to do here is put that on a completely new page so if I right click and say move chart and say new sheet it gives us a much easier area to work with so the things that we need to do with the chart are add a title to the chart holiday sales per employee so I'm going to click in here okay the next thing I need to do then is label the segments with the staff initials and the number of holidays sold so the segments have to have the staff initials in there and the number of holidays sold so if I select layout and I select data labels and select more data label options and I can either put a value or a percentage in there. It wants the value, but it also wants the name, so that's the category name. And then select close. I don't need the legend, so I'll get rid of the legend. And I'll say legend none. And then it says pull out the high pull out or highlight the segment representing the largest number of sales. And it should be JP. So click on it once. That highlights everything. Click on it the segment again and that selects that piece or that segment on its own and drag it out. Then it says save the chart in a format which can be imported into the text document. If we wanted to bring it to that text document the easiest way is to click on it, click in the white area, right click and copy. If I bring back up my document again and simply right click and paste then I would have the chart in there. If we bring up the Cambridge Answers again, it can sh it shows you that they look exactly the same. That is the end of this tutorial. I hope you found it interesting and learned something. Thank <laughs> you.